Hello and welcome to Digit. In this video, we'll be unboxing the TP-Link CPE510, 5 GHz, 300 Mbps outdoor antenna. Now this is the box that it came in, which is completely plain white on all sides. So we'll get straight into the unboxing. You have the CPE510 antenna. Then you've got a power cable. Followed by a PoE adapter or power over ethernet adapter. Then there are uh, two mounting screws along with plastic roll plugs. And lastly, You've got a couple of uh, zip ties. And this is common that you get a PoE adapter or power over ethernet adapter with outdoor and indoor enterprise networking equipment. And the power cable that you've got is for the PoE adapter. As you can see, this is where it goes in. On the back side, you have a little uh, plastic wall mount plate which you can slide and remove when you do that you can see what uh, model this happens to be so it's mentioned it is tl poe 2412g this thing is rated for uh, 24 volts at 0 0.5 amperes and this is standard because this is following the poe standard and on the other side, you have the two Ethernet ports. The first one being for PoE, which is going to be the output, and that is going to go into your antenna. And the second port is the LAN port into which your Ethernet cable will be going in. That is the input. Then you have the antenna, which is plain white in color on the front surface. You've got a little TP-Link branding on the top. And the top surface is also a little inclined, so that definitely helps when you are uh, placing it outdoors in uh, not so favorable weather conditions. There's a little mounting clip on the back, so you might get accessories to mount this against uh, bars and beams. There's a little cover at the bottom, which is basically a weather cover. When you open it up, you can see the interface. So there's the ethernet port, a little reset hole under which you'll find the reset button. You'll need a sharp or pointy tool to access it. And, and there's a little uh, screw over here on the left-hand side, which is basically for grounding the device. So you can see the symbols for which each of the functionalities are right underneath it. And it's also Pharos Max Stream enabled, should uh, refer to the hardware specifications to understand exactly which mode has Pharos Max Stream enabled. We've checked it out and it seems that if you run it in 802.11a or n mode, then you do not get Pharos Max Stream. However, if you run it with the TDMA mode, then you get Pharos Max Stream enabled. You got more details regarding the model over here. This includes the model number as well as uh, the default username and password that is required while you're logging into the device. Then on the same side, you also have the LAN and power indicator LED in the form of a nice little uh, array. Aside from that, you don't have anything else. So that's it for this unboxing of the TP-Link CPE510, 5 GHz, 300 Mbps, 13 dBi outdoor CPE. Thank you for watching.